Welcome back to my channel. Hi everyone. It's been a while, I know. Um, I do want to apologize. I did mention on Friday posting this particular video, which is about mental health and how my planner helps me through my mental health issues. But um, for my mental health, I couldn't do it. <laughs> um, it's finally summer for teachers in my area and from my school. Friday was the last day and I still worked my second job. So by the time I got home, I crashed. Honestly, it takes about a week to recoup from um, teaching. Uh, like it literally takes a whole week of sleeping. I have slept a lot. Um, I kind of stupidly started my swim school up like tomorrow so I really haven't had a lot of rest but I have started it late enough that I'm not going to be too too exhausted um but whatever that's not what this video is about this video is actually about mental health I need to go ahead and put a disclaimer that there is going to be some triggering some very triggering information and story times and uh, about the with topics of um, depression and things like that. I will provide a suicide hotline in my um, d description box down below. So if you are having any feelings of suicide and things to go down into the description and get that. This is a collab video with... Quartz Craft Topic, and I'm super excited to collab with her, and this is about mental health awareness. It is the month of mental health awareness, and considering that I do have my own mental health issues that today I will be sharing with you, um, this may be somewhat of an emotional video for me, so there may be tears, there may be, I don't know, what's going to come. I did try to film this video once, and I felt like I shared too much, maybe, but I'm going to do it again without, I try to do it again without crying. Um, no promises though, you guys. <laughs> no promises. Um, but yes, let's get started. So basically, this world in society that we live today, unfortunately, is filled with mental health issues. So many of us suffer from depression, anxiety, uh, split personalities, borderline personalities. I mean, severe ups and downs. What is that? Bipolar. Um, it's just a thing. Now, I am going to be sharing my story, which can be very triggering for some people and very shocking for some as well. I unfortunately have been misdiagnosed many times or and not even diagnosed now um, properly, which led me to diagnose myself, which led me to self-medicate, which led me to addiction. So let's begin. So as a child, I was adopted at a very young age from a very sad situation. I will not discuss some things for the privacy of my family, okay? I have been surrounded with ill situations that have caused me to have panic attacks, anxiety, and depression. Now, I grew in a family that those types of things were not realistic. They were just, get over it, or, no, you're not, there's no way you could be, you're a healthy young girl, you're beautiful, you're talented, you're a swimmer, you're active, and get straight A's and all that. Those were my ways of covering my depression. Doing well was a way of covering up what was really inside. So I go to a therapist at a young age. I lie to him. I say I'm fine. I even was smart enough to give adult answers, but yet I'm still fine. Okay, years down the road, panic attacks, severe panic attacks feel like I'm dying. I can't breathe. My chest is, my chest is pounding. And my throat is closing up. I'm crying uncontrollably. Okay. A couple of years down the road, I, I get medicated. Um, a couple of years down the road, um, in my twenties, I'm starting to lose time. I'm starting to lose time and I'm tired all the time. Uh, but then I'm better 
for a little while and have a baby. I was getting my life together and then got pregnant. After the baby, things were okay. I discovered painkillers. Got addicted to painkillers. Um, yeah, they were prescribed. I didn't go too far, reached out too far, and I was okay for a long time. It was only up until like three, four years ago that I got hooked on them and started searching outside of doctors for them and got addicted. Now, I there's a lot of stigma on people with addiction. You wouldn't look at me and be able to tell that I have been an addict. Um, fortunately enough for me, I am not... Uh, I would not considered a severe addict, maybe what they consider like a low grade addict. Um, I recognized there was a problem with me um, pretty quickly and got help. Now I have been in treatment and now I'm officially dosing out of treatment. So that's a big accomplishment and it's very difficult. It's an emotionally damaging, physically damaging thing and my body chemistry has changed and I've changed and it's hard. And that's where my planner comes in play. All these things that I've gone through in my life play a huge part in my journal and my planner. Now, I'm going to show you some things and explain why I track as much as I do. Now, over the past few years, I have started losing more and more time. Not remembering saying certain things. Not remembering being somewhere. Not remembering certain fights, arguments. And then my body be extremely exhausted. I have not been completely diagnosed yet, unfortunately, because I have trouble talking to people I don't know and trust. But they have said that I have a split personality. Now, this is not DID. This is not dissociative identity disorder or whatever. Um, although it kind of mimics it. Um, it's still me, but I have a very young version of myself and me. And if you listen to some of my past videos, you'll probably hear a difference in my voice and behavior. One version is the young version of me, and then the other version is the mature-ish version of myself. Um, so there is that. Um, I do have depression, I do have severe anxiety, split personality, which unfortunately is undiagnosed, um, or unmedicated, excuse me, unmedicated. I have taken the conscious choice to go all natural. Um, this is my choice, it's not for everyone. Um, I feel at my best on nothing, and that's where I'm headed. Once I get done with treatment for my um, addiction, I will be clear headed and free. And I hope this doesn't run a lot of you off. I hope this doesn't make me lose my job and I hope that I'll be fine. But let me show you some things that can help you get through these types of behaviors. First thing I suggest and what I do is I have a journal. This is my spirit journal, spiritual journal, and it's mostly for my split and I to coexist. I understand that this sounds crazy, okay? I don't expect you to understand, but I do expect many of you to understand. I think there's more people out there than they than we know that have issues that are undiagnosed and unmedicated um so my split there's a lot of times where I miss uh like I mentioned periods of time so that's where this comes in hand uh everything from stories to memories to daily logs to stuff like that goes in here between my split and I I like to call her catty because she's really catty <laughs> Caddy and I'm Kitty, so it's kind of cute and all, but it's deep down, it's a problem. Um, I want to coexist as one person again in my personality. Caddy comes out when I'm extremely, extremely um, um, overworked, exhausted, and 
stressed out, which happens quite, it's happened quite often recently. Um, and it's not something that I've recognized happening until more recently, but it comes together and I realize now that it does, it's happened many times before, especially when I start losing memories and things like that. There's people that'll come to me out and about and say, hey, I remember you from blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh my God, I don't remember you at all. And I'll just say, I'm not how I used to be, I swear, because I literally don't know. And that's scary for me. And I'm sure it's scary for the person that knew me so well. Like there's people that have come up to me in the mall. Hey girl, you look great. Like I remember you from so-and-so. We hung out, we like dated, blah, blah. I'm like, whoa, 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 I don't remember you at all. And I'm like, oh, great this happens to me does this happen to anyone else and i probably should I, i'm i'm looking into getting talking to people and getting figured out and all that stuff please understand that um i am doing the best i can with what i've got but i do use this journal if you're interested in how my split and i communicate um and kind of keep track of things and you really want to see what's in this bad boy comment below and talk with her like maybe we'll be brave enough to share it there's some kind of scary stuff in here too like stories and a lot of it's sexually driven too like we're talking about almost like 50 shades of gray type stuff and it can be kind of triggering um but anyway moving on when it comes to mental health and planning I highly suggest a gratitude. To start your day off positively is always a good thing. You can't go wrong with that, right guys? I find that my main focus right now is, is to um, here it is is to be positive and live positively and if i'm not stressed then i don't split so stress-free during the summer i don't split as much or at all because i am in my business and in my element and don't have a lot of outside interference now there's times that i've gone to visit a friend and i don't remember what's happened and we've had a big falling out and I don't know what from. <laughs> there's things like that. There's there's just a lot. But gratitudes are a great way for people with mental illnesses to really start their day off positively. Okay. Now that's just what I do. I've got June set up. I'm doing I'm gonna be doing a video on my June setup here shortly. Um also June reoccurring tasks. I have a reoccurring task list for each month because if I do split and have to continue to be like um, responsible, at least my split will know where to go and, you know, she can look and see. I want to, I don't want to say she, like I can look and see where to mark off and that way I'll know if it's been done or not. I will admit that regardless if I remember things or not, the one thing that stays like consistent is my planner. Now, a lot of her comes out, a lot of my person, other personality, my other side comes out with like decorative items. Like, for example, this is very much me, kind of simple and plain. I do have um, some things, but if all of a sudden my planner has like charms and paper clips and like a lot of decorative stuff that's usually her coming out to bring happiness because those things do bring happiness which also something I suggest if you have a um, hard time with depression and things like that surround yourself with things that make you happy images anything that truly means something to you and make you very happy but yes a reoccurring task is super important to stay on track these are things that and this is i use a daily specific one especially during the summer and see if you've been following me for a while a lot of the things i do are now going to make sense because you know my background um <laughs> 
I've got to change up my track. I change a lot because first off, I'm dealing with two sides of me. Secondly, I've got to make sure whatever I'm doing can be tracked and understood by both sides. So um, productivity tracking is not necessary during the summer because it's more consistent. But what does need to be tracked are deadlines like for my business. So these are day specific. So I'm sure that they get done every single day of the week, because if not, the whole thing will fall apart. My whole business. Now we've been working together, my split and I in, in business together for five years now. So like with this particular system and everything. So honestly it works. And obviously now granted, I was not as aware of my split personality until more written past couple years but it's always been there and I started planning maybe three four years ago like this so you can kind of look back in my older videos and see more of what that is like like you could probably hear my personality changes and stuff um actually make a fun game out of it and see how many different videos were me and how many were ca catty so these are great. These are from My Summer Touch and these really are going to help me get things together. So I have a lot of things I want to accomplish, but the main thing is a spiritual to grow in my spiritual connection with God, because that is what's kept me going. Not everyone believes in God and that's fine. Okay. I'm not going to judge you for that. All right. It's just the only thing that works for me. And it's the only thing that's kept me stable and kept me honest and, ke and have kept me like in my split, like understanding of what's going on around me. So, and without him, I wouldn't have pulled out of addiction. <laughs> it wouldn't have happened without him. Um, so I'm using what I've done is wrote down the four things that I really want to focus on and like, what do I truly want? strong spiritual connection, healthy lifestyle, which is more minimal, expand my career and buy a home. I've decided to focus on one at a time. So of course, my very first and main one is the strong spiritual connection. And that's what's super important to me. And that's what I've decided to break down here. And I believe Caddy and I will be completely I again. Um, like I said, it's really just stress related and things like that. And I, I personally just want to remember my entire life. I don't want to miss out on pieces of my life anymore. It's really difficult. And then like, not to, not to be like diagnosed properly or anything. It's, it's kind of, it's more difficult. I, like I said, I chose a natural route. So see how it goes. And I really almost want to disable comments for this because I don't need all we need is support when it comes to mental health awareness support is all we should be giving we shouldn't be tearing people down um I, I truly believe in that um I'm here to support you guys I've always been and I'm hoping that you guys will support me as well but this is great because no matter what you're going through, this really can break down some and keep you focused. So for example, my splits, both sides of my personality can use this to stay on task. So for example, why do I want my most desired goal and why do I want it? And I want it because I need this. It just feels right. What will I do to reach the goal? So that's what this is. Bible study, prayer, health, healthy habits, mindful practicing, and positive affirmation. So all this stuff that you see here will be tied into my planner or my journal. Okay. Now, because I'm in a pocket size planner, that kind of stuff is like really difficult. Like to, like I've had to downsize a lot with this. If you have a Vanderspeck, you, the, the rings are a little bigger than this and I could put more in, but this is a Gilio, so... It's a little thinner. I can switch the rings out though, which is nice. Um, let's see. What are the obstacles and what will I do to overcome them? To stay focused with prayer. So here are my obstacles here. And then depression, negative energies, laziness, my mind, which is my split. 
Um, and I can overcome them by prayer, reading the Bible, and mindful breathing, which has worked, you guys. The reason why I'm focusing so much on this is because it's worked. And I've done it before, and I keep not doing it. Something keeps stopping me from doing that kind of stuff. But I know that it's what I need to do. So, um, define a goal in a positive way as if it had already happened. Now, also, one of the things I suggest to people that do have similar situations as mine or depression, I would have positive affirmations you write for yourself every single day. Just rewrite, rewrite, rewrite them. But make them be things that, like, like you already have it. For example, I'm close to God and hear his calling for me. Like, I hear it. I know it's here. I see him. I'm with him. With that, that makes it, my mind believe it's going on. Like, it's really good for you to do that. For example, say you want to have a good day. Say, I'm having a good day. I'm smiling. I'm happy. Write those kind of things over and over and over again. You will be surprised how much that'll help. That's one of the things you can put in your planner as well. Is an affirmation section where you just write down positive affirmations. Your mind is extremely powerful. You have no idea. So a lot of you probably do have an idea. I mean, I'm proof that the mind is powerful. I'm an artistic human being. So, the, for example, a lot of the time, doctors are like, you have a very active imagination. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> but so active to the, part where, to the point where I've split. And, like, that's, you know, it's a mind over matter thing. So if you can write something positive every single day, just think what could happen from that. I guarantee you, you probably will become what you're writing. So that's something I'm actually going to be starting um, this week is a, a positive affirmation like um, journal or like specific journal or section in here. Um, this is just strictly for that. I don't know if it'll fit in here. I may end up going back to personal. We'll see what happens. Depends on what Caddy wants to do. <laughs> and then on the back, it does have, um, it does have, oh, it's here. Like the projects and steps, daily prayer routine, Bible study. And then I'll write down the habits right here, which will be a tracker for this particular, um, particular focus for here. So I haven't completed filling it out yet, but these are things that I need to do. And then these are going to be daily things to grow and be, um, to accomplish what it is I want. And then on the back, it says it's a goal journal, date, what happened, note symptoms. Now I love that, but for me, so much happens in a day that I have to use my big journal. This this big boy um, that can't even fit in the screen <laughs> um, because like I said oh, I can't I miss a lot of time in the day like where I don't know what's going on so I need somewhere or something to write down now I do carry as well a basic notebook like this for in my purse like something smaller that's why I've been tempted to go into a b6 um, because this is a little bigger than a B6, I believe. Um, just a notebook, like insert, for to carry around. Because a lot of things happen out and about. And especially since I am going to be at the pool every day, all day, pretty much. I'm going to need that. So, it's it's that's why I also like my A6 um, TN as well. But Caddy doesn't like that very much. She's, she, I don't know why. <laughs> Ugh, she keeps throwing it away. Um. Anyway. Okay, so what I've decided, I've in the past, I've done a productivity tracker, which has been very, very, po very popular with you guys, and I really want to thank you for that. Um, and it is very helpful for people with um, anxiety, depression, and also suffer from, like, fatigue um, and things like that. And, that, I mean, there's so many other illnesses that... Uh, 
you could use this for. So basically, I track every hour of the day of how I feel, like whether I'm low energy or high energy. So I've decided to start doing that in my daily pages. So it's not so overwhelming to do it all in a month because I feel like I get lost and I'm more likely to keep up with my tracking in my daily pages than I am in the monthly tracking because I've done it in the past. You can watch some of my tracking videos in the past, you guys, if you're interested to see what I'm talking about. Um, check out my tracking video, functional tracking, and it'll kind of go through all that. But I've decided to use my Summer's Touch inserts for this purpose, and I'm more likely to keep up with it if it's daily. So my dailies will more than likely look more like this, which totally cute, right? Look, I'm a functional planner girl, but I think that's so pretty. <laughs> um, okay, and then... I also like to do a month review talking about the main points that's happened in the month, like what's going on. Like I said, I lose track of time. And so reviews are very important to me. And I haven't gone through my reviews yet because I felt like I needed to make this video first before I start talking about my month reviews and my weekly reviews because it wouldn't make much sense until then. So now that you know, I use, I'm decided to use these for my monthly review. And then I'll still be using my Summer's Touch pullouts for my weekly reviews, these. So basically for my weekly review, I will write down uh, like bullet points of things that happened that I don't remember or caddy can, whatever is necessary. And like just a, just a review of what's happened and then how it has affected me as a person emotionally, physically, and um, as well spiritually and as well socially. So all those four topics, spiritually, physically, socially, and um, physically, spiritually, socially, mentally. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just, it's a lot and it's kind of intense and this video is intense and I do apologize, but um, this is just how I use my planner for mental health my mental health success, like to get better. I've been much happier since I've had a YouTube channel, met the planning community and planned in my planner. It's been very, very helpful. So I am using my Summer's Touch. I really love these so much. They're so cute. And then I've also included this go around. In the past, I've had a whole tracking section of like really intense tracking, but um, Caddy would get overwhelmed. So I would, I've decided to go down to just a daily tracker where for me, um, self-care is very important for me to be um, a whole, okay? Um, to become a whole person, I've got to be very sure to take care of myself, but unfortunately I don't do so. Um, for example, people like myself forget to brush their teeth or wash their hair, wash their face, take a shower. I mean, tell me, comment down below if you, if you understand what, you know, brushing your teeth and your gums start to bleed. What does that even mean? It means you haven't brushed your teeth in a while and they're suffocating. <laughs> that's what that means and um that happens and so I really try hard I also suggest with people that are trying to build routines and better habits to use a small daily tracker at first like I wouldn't do all the all those beautiful monthly tracking just yet I would start small because it's not as overwhelming and for me um when I first started with the monthly tracking I realized um in the past, when I first started tracking, and in the past, I tried a monthly tracker, I got overwhelmed, like, or Caddy did, and couldn't keep up because I would miss too many, and too many unmarked things gave me anxiety, which caused depression, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a damn roller coaster, you guys. Um, so I highly suggest just a daily tracker. So this is what I'll, I'll be using, especially during the summer. Things need to be pretty simple because I'm so busy. Um... But simple tasks like teeth, hair, face, lotion, and condition hair. Because I'm in the water, you guys, I have to make sure I condition my entire body, okay? Or I will break out in hives and things like that. Being the life of a swim coach is not easy, okay? You've got to have a lot of self-care. But unfortunately, with my personality, it's difficult. 
And so my skin suffers, which means my family's going to suffer. Um, but everything from what I need to do for work and then also things as simple as um, house chores will go here. Every I've decided to just put it all here. And then I'll label it like self-care, work, um, chores. And I have two sides that I can use if I want or, you know, that the side could be for this week or whatever I decide to do. So I do suggest this for beginner people with mental health issues, like really start with a small tracker and see how much that could help you because there's a satisfaction of checking things off. Lists are great. <laughs> and then again, my dailies will have the productivity, which I will do a video, a uh, plan with me video and all that stuff. Um, now I know, I know this has been a lot to take in you guys. Um, and it's been 30 minutes of this. I will say I use, I utilize my lists as well for mental health. Um, things like positive, positive quotes or affirmations, anything like that, that you can read and just keep your mind focused on what's important. I highly suggest. Um, I keep notes like my planner routines just in case I split and don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I can read this or caddy can read this and get back on track and things like um things like i got my favorite youtubers in here but um self-care uh activities i highly suggest to anyone to make a list of self-care activities um so you can at least promise yourself to do at least one a week one thing off your list a week, something as simple as that. If you can do that, you're doing good. Don't don't push yourself so hard. And then over time, maybe you can do two a week or three a week. You know what I'm saying? Or one a day. Something like that. So keep that in mind too. But you guys, I really want to thank you for sticking sticking it out in, in this video. I know it's it can be difficult to talk about this kind of stuff. But please understand, I am here for you. I am stable enough to care for people. And that's probably my biggest issue is I care for others before myself. When really, that's unrealistic. But just know you're not alone. And if you need help and you have thoughts of suicide, look in my link below for the hotline, suicide hotline. And also go check out my girl um, and how she does her mental health and self-care in her planner. And I hope this wasn't too much, you guys. And I love you for making it this far. And until next time, kittens. Bye.